focus on, excuse me, we're going to focus on search and, uh, and mobile social today. Now, uh, you're going to get a, a, you'll have, eventually have access to this presentation, so or if it goes by you or if you don't catch the links, and uh, we're going to get into it. Any questions so far? No? Oh, that way. <coughs> so, here we go. We can go so deep and wide with search, but I'm going to keep things surface level because a lot of the fundamentals um, are very powerful. Uh, just knowing the fundamentals is, is powerful information. It'll set you apart from people. There's two main types of search. SEM, or search engine marketing, uh, which is paid search. Paid search and other types of paid advertising. Uh, content, for example. And SEO, or search engine optimization, which is non-paid search. Uh, for the most part, non-paid. Or organic search, or natural search. Sometimes uh, it's called. And to give you an example of what that looks like, Let's go here. This is a Google result for keyword or key phrase new music. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> generally speaking, the results here on the left are organic, non paid results. Now, I put that in parentheses because in some cases, companies hire companies like mine, and there's expertise behind these non paid results, which makes them paid results. But as far as Google's concerned, they're non paid results and this is a somewhat of a level playing field. If you know what you're doing, you're an independent artist, you can follow optimization techniques that will better, uh, that, will more, that, that will make it more likely for you to return uh, at the top of the result for certain queries. To the right here is a paid search result. Someone has paid for this placement. It's commonly known as uh, cost per click or PPC, pay per click. Now, this visibility that you're seeing right now, this presence is actually free. It's one of the tremendous value propositions that Google uh, offers. The impressions, this is called an ad impression. My ad showed, I haven't clicked on it yet, no one clicked on it yet, so there's no charge. Google's in a position because they make so much friggin' money that they can do that. Uh, because most ad uh, networks online charge for impressions. Uh, that's a CPM model, it costs, it costs per million or a thousand. Um, but this is free. So hopefully already, some of you have, have a light bulb uh, going off of your head in that you're an aspiring artist, you want to make a name for yourself, you can get free impressions in addition to clicks uh, to your web properties. Uh, and you can also geotarget this, by the way. Uh, you can be national, you can be international, uh, but you can also limit it or geotarget. Let's say you're just trying to get, your, get yourself known in your city. You can limit it to a couple blocks if you want to, geotargeting wise, so that you don't waste those uh, uh, clicks and money uh, on people outside of your area. Or let's say you're on, on tour, right? And you want to uh, you want the next the people in the next city to know about you when they type in things like music or new music or alternative or hip hop or whatever it might be. You can limit it to that city. It's called geotargeting. Um, and this, um, we're going to get into, uh, into more detail on this. By the way, see how many results we've got here for the phrase new music? 363 million results. Um, by the way, one of our clients has also been music.com and you know, getting a much better domain name than that. Um, all right, so let's go back to the presentation. Um, it says CPC cost per click and contextual advertising. Google calls this, by the way, all the, all the three major search engines have paid uh, uh, search available, but we're going to focus on Google today. Contextual advertising. Uh, Google calls it the content network. And what that does is, based on the keywords that you input into paid search, um, it will match your keyword and your ad, be it a text ad or an image ad or a video, to related content. So for example, if I uh, was going after the phrase uh, uh, hip hop, um, new hip hop artist, let's say, uh, I would set Google AdWords up for that phrase in the content network, and the Google computers in the background would be searching all of their partner advertising sites for content that was relevant to that phrase, new hip hop artist. When it found a web page that had content that was contextually related or relevant to that phrase, 
And only then, it would show my ad. So Google is helping me get in front of people that, are, that represent what we call, in marketing, a affinity group, right? They're very close to what I'm about. Now, again, that could be a text ad. It could be an image ad. Uh, it could be a video. The video is a great value because you get a, uh, the first still image uh, for free. So you could brand yourself for free if nobody clicks on it. If somebody does click on it, they'll play the video. Uh, and uh, that's a pretty cool uh, 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 offering from, from Google. Um, so I can appear through paid search on the Google uh, network. I can, I can appear, well, actually, on my next slide, I, I go into more detail. That's what we'll do. Um, so let me first just brush over SEO then. SEO is a search engine optimization. It predates SEM. It's technically non-paid search. And it's making changes to a website uh, via keyword optimized words and content with relevant links from other websites pointing to your site to, ha to help you rank well for keywords in search engines in the organic side, the organic non-paid natural search listing side. So you combine what your, how your website is built, what it talks about, because Google, the Google spiders are unbelievably, they have warehouses full of uh, uh, PhDs, they're unbelievably sophisticated in terms of being able to understand what your website is about. Uh, and then they, uh, once they sort of read your website, it's called a, a spider or a crawler, once they read your website, then they look to see who's pointing to you and how relevant are they. Uh, are the pages that are pointing to you, uh, and how popular are those pages with relevant sites, who's pointing to them, and so on, and so on, and so on. And it puts the two together, and uh, uh, although there's over a uh, hundred ranking factors, uh, and those are the ones that wacky SEOs like me speculate on, it's probably more, um, uh, stated simply, that's how organic search works. It's a combination of on-page or on-site criteria, i.e., Keywords, related content, links, images, videos with keywords, etc., combined with inbound links from relevant web pages, and that results in an organic uh, uh, ranking. 